gonna be round my vegetables. I'm gonna chow down my vegetables. I love you most of all, my favorite vegetable. to wash the turkey down or really good all over all the cavities and everything. And after it's washed out, I'm just going to pat it dry. Paper towels. Draining all over the place here. Drain here, drain there. And here are some of the giblets. Oh, always a favorite. The neck. Can make sure these guys are all done. And more ribs here. Inside and out, the giblets removed, the neck removed, patted nice and dry. Move on to the next step. One of the dude's secret turkey recipes is a mixture of olive oil and minced garlic. So we're going to take this and we're going to rub them all over. Just add a bunch of nice flavor everywhere. Inside and out. Front and back. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Add some more later on. You want to open the drumsticks up by pressing the wire together. I'm taking that out. Now one of the other dude tricks that we have is you always go into the cavity and pat it dry after it's been washed. And then I like to fill the turkey with a mixture of celery and onions not to eat later on, but because this imparts the bird with very nice moisture and some flavor. And another little secret is to keep some rosemary handy. Lots of sprigs of rosemary around to stick into various places. Nice, nice, nice. And let's get some of this mixture up in the top here. Okay, looking good. Have some rosemary up front too. Ready to get all that good flavor throughout the bird. Now we need to re-close the bird. So up on top here, we will reach in 
and set some pins through the skin so that way it'll hold the bird together. The same down here. And then finally replace the drumsticks by tying them back together with the handy dandy little piece of string as such. Voila! One happy bird. And I think I'll just stick this guy in here just for the fun of it. One thing that's really important to do in preparing a bird is to make sure that you find a nice big place in the thigh where you can put your thermometer and you stick it in so that it's not touching bone and that way you'll know exactly when the internal temperature gets up to speed. Okay, let's get a couple more pieces of rosemary randomly around the river here. Stick one here under his wing pit. That'll be really good. And I've got a couple more pieces here. Let's put them right back here in the front of the cavity. Okay, that bird looks pretty good. Let's get ready for the oven. Now this is almost a 28 pound bird, so she's going to take about maybe 5 hours at 325 degrees. So let's reposition ourselves. Also a good idea in the pan itself to put a few cups of liquid. In this case, I've got some nice dry wine here, Sauvignon Blanc. And then another trick is to take a large piece of aluminum foil and tint it over the bird. Like that. It doesn't have to be tight or anything, just loosely on top, and that helps again to keep the moisture in. And we'll be removing that maybe a half hour before we take the bird out so it turns nice and brown. And there we have it. Uh, it is now exactly 8 o'clock in the morning, so we'll have this bird coming out at around 1 o'clock. We'll let it sit and rest for a while, and then munch it. Oh boy, all these all these things to figure out. Yep, Blink and I get the egg. Let's take these. I got, let's take these down. Why? So you can see the turkey. Okay, boys, come stand around the turkey to make a move. I'm shooting. Go, 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 go. Hi. Okay, do, who here likes turkeys? Who here is going to eat some turkey today? I Who here is going to have turkey sandwiches for the next two months? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. no. Very good. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, carving a turkey. Let's see if I remember how you do this. You just go along the breastbone here, carve straight down as far as you can go. And then you cut away a little bit here. And then down here you make a parallel to the ground cut that. And then you just get this nice big chunky piece turkey meat that you can then put there and proceed to cut her into smaller pieces.
Pound turkey. Uh, 20 pounds. 20, 28 pounds. Wow. That's a big guy. Go ahead, Blake, pick it up and take a bite. Or you gotta eat with your fork. That's even more dignified. Yeah, right. <laughs> ah, there he goes. Well, that's a real picture. King Henry VIII. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll oh, there's another. Oh, that one sucks. Did that bird have yeah. two of them? I claimed it. Uh -huh. Where's it sitting? Yeah, I hit the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tour of the table. Here we have the white meat. And here we have the special Sandra yam casserole. And some baked Yukon golds and dark meat. And there we have Betty's famous uh, green beans. And of course cranberries. And uh, here we have uh, Sarah Palin, the pig, uh, is here joining us today for this feast. And here we have a giblet gravy, and here we have stuffing a la Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. and here is some more of uh, Betty's wonderful fruit Fish salad right there, and uh, here we have some potatoes, <laughs> and here we have Blake eating an entire yeah. turkey all himself. Oh boy. And I think we got most of the goodies here. Have my poor old Earth flag, like our Mother Earth, has seen better days, has been abused, is kind of tattered and torn, and this probably is the best reason why we need to malama Mother Earth. Mother Earth.